Hi guys, if you're looking to get a shower screen like this one and you have no shower tray in your bathroom, and this one is by far the most recommended one that I would say get. And I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of how to install this shower screen. So please stay tuned, like the video, share the video, and please don't forget to subscribe. It will mean the world to me and my community in YouTube. Thank you. So without any further ado, um, as you can see, guys, I've opened up the box. You can see all the elements that have come with it. Um, unfortunately, this is a bit flimsy, uh, but with the manual and two people, you can get it done and uh, install this uh, shower screen. So to start with, as you can see, we get the frame, the first two metal pieces. You get one of them, put it against the wall where you're looking to install the shower screen get the level, make sure it's on point and it's right and it's straight um, where you want it to be. And make sure you have enough space in your shower room um, that you can move around and maneuver around to actually wash yourself and stuff. So without further ado, when you've leveled it up and you know where it's going, make the holes in, a, in, a, in the tiles but um, you have to keep in mind when you're making the holes in tiles, you have to have a special drill um, that will not uh, shatter the tiles because it's not the same as drilling on, on a wall, guys. And then once you've figured that out and you have the holes, um, just put the screws in, make sure they're uh, secured in there, just like so. And use a hammer if you have to, just like on the, pic on the video here, where you uh, gently just hit the screws in uh, with not too much force if the actual holes are not deep enough and the screws are not going all the way in make sure you drill through the holes again and uh, make sure that they're sc the screws are secure in there and not moving uh, because that will secure the shower screen and not let it move so once you have the holes secured and uh, done on the on the tiles guys you take a bit of silicone and uh, as you can see this, this is another trick that you can use for the shower shower screen to be secured on the wall and not fall on you so you put a bit of silicone before you screw it to the wall as well what this does not only does it secure and keep it um, on the wall it also seals any water that might go through uh, to the other side so it's got two functions one of them is to secure it to the wall and the second one is to seal it from any wa uh, water penetration to the other side so once you've got that done you choose the screws or you choose the screws that come with it i recommend to choose the screws that come with it to be honest um, it's always recommended just in case um, anything goes wrong so once you've done that you just screw the frame to the wall like so and um, what you do next is you have another similar frame which will go on top of this one uh, for the other set of screens so uh, for but for the beginning what you do you first you fit the first screen in and then you make sure that's secured like so and uh, you level it up as well like in in the video there and then you start working on the second frame on top of it and uh, make sure you do your measurements just like you did on the first one make sure it's leveled up and it's straight and make sure it's um, where you want it to be and exactly on top of the other frame because you want them you don't want water penetration um, once it's been installed so again guys uh, like, just like we did with the first one what you do in this one is exactly the same process once you've got the holes on the wall on the tiles may, and again make sure you use the right drill to drill through the through these tiles i cannot stress that enough because otherwise you'll have cracked tiles once you've done that then you use that silicone again to secure it on the wall and also like i said earlier because you don't want any water penetration and this will definitely guarantee that so um, once you have all of that sorted make sure that the next frame goes exactly on top of the other one like I mentioned earlier and uh, you got the whole you got uh, everything aligned and uh, leveled up then what you do as you can see you find out you find where the screws are going to go into and you start screwing the screws in and make sure that uh, frame is secure and leveled up once you've siliconed it to the wall guys make sure you pick up the drill again 
get the screws and like so very very gently and slowly screw the screws in do not use any power like powerful powerful tools do not use any power in it just very gently uh, screw into the tiles and once you've done that again as you can see i grab the silicone put it inside the frame where the actual glass uh, backup is going to go so once you've done that you make sure that you've siliconed it properly you've secured it and then that's where the thing that's going to hold the glass in place goes into once you secure the uh, frames and you have the first glass panel in place then what you do you start putting up the connection that's going to connect the first glass panel with the second one so that's what it recommends on the booklet and that's what we're doing right now so these are the actual uh, hinges if you might want to call them that's going to hold the other part of the glass panel that's going to come where my left hand is now and these are remember these are foldable glass panels guys so they're very flexible so make sure you choose the right way of which way you want them to open up is it inwards outwards it depends which way it works out for you better so i've chosen for mine to uh, open up outwards so it works like it functions like an actual door where you're going into into and out of of a shower shower cabin so once you've secured the second panel um parallel then you move on to the one um, above the first one. So you put in the frame, you've secured that to the, to the tiles, then you put in the second bit that's gonna hold the actual um, glass frame. And uh, you secure that again to the tiles, leave it for like five minutes to, to grab grip. And what you do, you grab the actual glass panel as so, you fit it in there, you screw the, you got the special screws, metal screws to screw them to the side that will hold the glass in place and not let it fall out. Uh, make sure you take it easy on the power. Do not, do not force anything, just slowly, and then it will fall in place, as you can see, guys. Once that third panel has gone up and it's secured, then we'll move on to installing the fourth panel but before we do that we have to go through the same process as we went on the first panel where we put in the hinges because remember these are uh, foldable doors guys so the hinges are important that they're secured on there and also the rubber bands that go in between as you can see before you put in the hinges there's a rubber band black rubber band there that doesn't let water penetrate through the middle and make sure the hinges are secure you've got like a little allen key that comes uh with the uh with the package so make sure you use exactly the tools that they provide for it and that's it this is now all good to go the only thing that's left to do here is the actual handles uh what, and also what i would like to say is some of the rubber bands that come with it they're slightly longer so you might see them sticking out so you'll probably need to like cut them with a scissor it's very easy to do so it recommends it on the booklet as well so just check it out guys it shouldn't take too long to do so but once it's done believe me it's going to look beautiful so once the hinges are in place guys the rubber bands are in there to keep the water out and sealed then we come to the uh, door handles. The actual door handles connect to two uh, glass panels together, the one above and the one beneath it. Make sure that's secured uh, because it's gonna act like an actual door when you're going in and out of the shower. So after all that hard work, guys, as you can see, the shower screen door is in place. I'm very happy with it. It doesn't let the water penetrate through the other side where the toilet is. So please, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Give me a thumbs up, share it. And please, please don't forget to subscribe.